Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk all things Canvas LMS. In case you're new here, my name is Lauren, also known as the Canvas Queen. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can utilize the iPads in your classroom with Canvas LMS. I'm going to show you how you can prepare two different types of assignments for your students to engage with on their iPads in Canvas. Now, before we get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 60% of you are watching, but you're not subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd follow along with me on this journey and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, update, I now have Canvas merch. I have the Etsy store that I will link in the description below if you would love a Canvas royalty shirt like the one I am wearing, you can find it in the link below. Now let me show you how you can create Canvas assignments for your students to use on their iPad. in my demo Canvas course, and I have two types of assignments within my Canvas module here. Both of these assignments will work with your student's iPad. So I'm going to demonstrate how to create the link to Canvas file assignment. You can see down here, I have the demo student annotation assignment. I have an entire video dedicated to how to set this up. So I won't be demonstrating that in this video today. If you'd like to take a look at that video, I will have it linked in the description below. But we are going to start with link to Canvas file assignment and I'll walk you through how we can create that and set it up so your students can use it with their iPads. Let's enter into the shell assignment that we have, which you can see it's completely blank. So all we are going to do to alter this is click edit. We are now in edit mode. So I'm just going to quickly within the rich content editor, just add directions and leave it as simple as that. You can enter whatever directions you want your students to have. But now we're going to get to the part where we're going to add our file or link to the assignment. So normally when we link an assignment, we use this lovely link button right here. But today we are not going to do that because we have a specific file that we're going to use for this assignment. So I'm actually gonna go over here to what is our documents or our file import button. So we're going to click on this. We're going to upload from a document. You can, of course, any file that you previously uploaded into Canvas becomes a course document. So of course you can click on this as well, depending on where it is. Mine is on my computer, so I'm going to click that. We'll zoom out. And here within my files, this is something uh, a document that I've created within Canva. We will open this and then we're going to click submit. So now it is a link. Now we can't view the PDF document, but your students will be able to click it within their iPad. So we've given it five points. Then we want to make sure, of course, that we select online and file upload. If we don't select those things, then the students will not be able to upload the document that they alter. And then we're going to click, of course, save. And that's really all you need. Uh, now what's gonna happen is your students are going to be able to click on this assignment and they will get a view of this document just like this, but they will have the ability within their iPad to write all over it. So let's take a look at what this assignment looks like on the iPad. On your iPad, you wanna make sure that you have downloaded the Canvas Teacher app as well as the Canvas Student app. Your students will of course use the, the Student app while you will use the Teacher app. So let's go into our Teacher app and we're gonna click on our demo course. And then I'm gonna scroll down using the course navigation and view student view. Now you need to make sure you have the student app downloaded so that this student view setting will work. Now we're looking at this as a student. We'll click on our demo course. And then here is my module on the right side. So I have course navigation and then kind of the body of my course. So I can actually make this larger 
and minimize the course navigation bar. And here are my two assignments that I need to complete as a student. I'm gonna click on the demo assignment, link to Canvas file. This is the assignment that we created within Canvas on our computer. So we have our due date, we didn't assign one. The submission type is a file upload. And then our description, we have our directions. And then of course our link, which when I click this, now we have our entire document here, which is great. Right now, we are only viewing this. In order to alter this and draw all over it, we're going to click the marker button in the top right corner. And then we get all of these really awesome, fun tools. So here are just a few of them. The first tool is this text tool that allows us to alter our text. So we can highlight text, underline, do squiggles and strike through. So I'm gonna do highlight and then of course we can pick any color that we want. I'll do pink and we can highlight text and we can also drag it which is really fun. So that's kind of your first tool here. Let's do the squiggle. We'll do blue and then kind of fun moon phases on the day I was born. So this is just kind of a really awesome tool that allows you to um, annotate, alter and edit text. So then the next tool is our typing tool. So I'm gonna put right here, my name, we can select this. I'm going to make this bigger and then we can move it. So I'm going to select and move it to the center there. Now, the thing that's really great is that at any point, if I want to remove this, oh, I can change the color, I can select it. I'm gonna, ooh, I like the green of this, but I can also remove by just clicking and, and selecting remove or I can alter it so we can change this to instead of squiggles we can change this to underline or strike through or highlight. The next tool which I think is the most useful one is the drawing tool and a highlighting tool so we can select that we can go to the color we can alter the thickness of that pen change the color of it. I'm going to do red and then click off of it. And over here, it's wanting me to draw a picture of myself. So I'm going to do a really great job here of me as a scientist. That's me as a scientist. Maybe I'll add a little test tube here. Voila. <laughs> That's going to be me. And then we can highlight. So this is kind of like a marker and we can add, let's say I want to color the moon over here. I'm going to color it yellow and be like cheese. That's a cool feature. The next tool is a drawing tool, but it allows us to create like perfect boxes and circles. I can unselect my tool and then select the circle and then make it bigger if I want to do stuff like this adding some shapes into my document here. And then of course, the next tool is the eraser tool. So we can erase our drawings here. Oh, my head has disappeared. I can actually undo that if I'm like, oops, I accidentally erased the wrong thing. What's also really cool is this arrow tool. So this arrow tool allows me to create arrows that point to certain things. I can change the thickness and the color. So if students are creating some sort of diagram, or maybe if you're a science teacher, you're doing like a water cycle that involves using arrows and things. Um, and of course, unselecting the tool allows you to scroll down. Whereas you saw before I made that arrow and I was like, oh, no, I wanted to scroll down. So make sure you unselect the tools when you move on into your document. So obviously you do not have to use the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is a great thing if your students have this or have access to one because then this marker and writing becomes a lot simpler. There's so much you can do with this tool. You don't have to have the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is just a plus. We're done with this. We are going to save this and submit. So as a student, I'm going to come over here to our Apple Share 
button and we are going to scroll down and click save to files. We'll save it to our iPad. We will return to the assignment, submit assignment. We have the option for camera, library, files, and scanner. We're going to click the file and in our recent folder, we're going to select our document, click submit. It's going to download. We get our lovely confetti and then we are done. We have successfully submitted this assignment. The same thing that we did with the link to Canvas file you can do with the student annotation tool. It is a little bit different. So we are going to resubmit this assignment here and you can see our document. And we have very similar tools as we did with the file, the link file upload. And we can use all of these as well. So we can do the text tool, which um, we can type, make it maybe a little bit smaller and move it to align properly. We can use the drawing tool, select whichever color we want. Let's do navy blue to turn off the Apple Pencil. There we go. All right, we can of course do highlighting. We can box things. We can erase our writing here and rewrite if I didn't like the way that it was written. I love the zooming in and zooming out feature. We can cross things out. We can add notes and comments and then type. And then when we're ready to submit this, instead of having to save it like the other assignment, we would just click submit and then we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video. I really hope it was helpful for those of you that have iPads in your classrooms. If you decide to try it out, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment question or reach out to me on any social media platform that I'm on. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.